And the last one that we're going to show is the Beaver Builder here. Um, so I've downloaded the plugin. You can go, you can now download this from your plugin section, or you can just go onto WordPress.com and they've got all the free plugins on there. Now this is the light version again because obviously you need to pay for the pro version. And there are many different builders. Some are paid, some are free. So really, it's up to you to choose the one that's going to work for you. Mostly, this is the last one that I'm going to show, and we're going to do the whole of the course and the visual editor just for anybody that doesn't want to use another builder. However, let's just take a little look. So as you can see here, it gives you the same options with Elementor, which is use the standard editor or launch beaver builder so we're just going to go with launch beaver builder and see what different features that we're going to get using that as you can see it's basically another way of a drag and drop so you can basically drop a row in here drop a module to get started so you can basically go between your modules your rows your templates right here so let's say here we want to add a row and we want to add three columns so let's just drag and drop that there much like elementor it's really super easy we've got our three sections and now it's just time to fill up our sections this is called modules rather than sections I should have said um, so now let's say for instance we want to put text in one of the box we drag and drop it there we can then use the little box that pops up to put um, we'll just put hello world and then we can save now one of the little box will be a text box with hello world let's say for instance now we want to add a nice uh, we want to add a nice picture you're going to come up to the little plus uh, right next to the done and we're going to choose another module so let's just go for a photo now so i'm going to click photo you can click on this particular bit and now you can now upload the photo there so let's select photo i'm going to drag and drop it into the middle section much like before we're now going to be able to upload ourselves a photo there we can select the source then go ahead and we can select the actual picture itself um do apologize i keep using the same picture but there we've got our picture now now again like Elementor you're going to get a lot more um, different styleability I suppose so you can style it differently and um, you can change the attributes and it's just going to give you a few more options than you would for your visual editor. Let's go to style you can see that we can actually crop it we can make it different shapes if you want it to be portrait square a circle change the width alignment border uh, radius and shadow whether we want one we even change the color to the shadow as well so if I click that we're going to get a slightly green shadow to it and now you can see we've got a bit of a green uh, sort of shadow around the circle shape that we made again I'm not doing this properly to build this page at the moment this is just to show you what you can really do with the different builders so as you can see again like Elementor um, you are going to get a lot more for the pro version however what you can do is just look for plugins with free add ons for the beaver builder and they'll also give you lots of free options that you can use